Hello. Hello everyone. It is Tiana Dodson here and I have some new equipment today. So if the sound is full and deep, it is because I have a new microphone. Very exciting. I have waited four days for that after it took me like a week to make a decision. Anyhow, we're on day nine, which of course is not like, you know, time wise, it's, it's been more than nine days than I've, that I've been doing this reading, but this is the ninth day that I will hashtag read aloud to you for five minutes um, from this book that I found online called The Forge in the Forest, where we left off on day eight, which was many days ago, um, we were listening, or you were, you were listening to a story and I was reading a story about Christian, yeah, Christian boys running away because they were being persecuted. That's the word, persecution. A story about Christian persecution. Um, so we have these seven boys with very interesting names, except that one's named John and they've been sleeping um and we're gonna pick up and see what's going on with our six interesting named interestingly named boys and john here we go five minutes on the clock Boom. nearly all who were in the city forsook the christian faith but there were seven youths who would not forsake it nor go into the pagan temples and make sacrifice to the pagan idols. These seven were friends who were devoted to one another, and their names were Malchus, Martian, Dionysius, John, Serapion, Maximian, and Constantine. They stole from the city, and they went towards the mountain Celion, and the dog that was Malchus's dog followed them. Very important. Very loyal. They hid within a cavern. Then one went back to the city to buy food. Smart. The shopkeeper who sold him meal made a little rent in the bag so that the meal trickled out, leaving a trail where he went. And the emperor, mounted on his horse, followed this track and came to the cavern where the seven had hidden themselves. He signed to his followers, and they drew heavy stones, and they closed up the entrance of the cavern. In a while, the emperor said, none will be left alive in Ephesus or around it who have the Christian faith. And I can imagine Wah! was what came next. And the emperor rejoiced as he said this, like I said, absolutely. The seven in the cavern sat together. They saw the daylight being shut out, and they knew from the scornful shouts of those outside that they had been shut in so that they could never leave the cavern. They sat there talking to one another and weeping and consoling one another. Stay golden, pony boy. Then they slept. The dog that was Malchus's dog crept close to them, and he too slept. But every seven years, he awakened. And after a hundred years, and another hundred, and a third hundred years had passed, a man came to the side of that mountain, and seeking weighty stones for the building of a roadway, he took away the stones that were at the mouth of the cavern. It was then that the daylight streamed in on where they lay. It was then the dog that was Malchus's dog barked. It was then that they wakened up. Malchus, Martian, Dionysius, John, Serapion, Maximian, and Constantine. It was then that each said, It is not as I thought. The mouth of the cavern is not closed upon us. They were hungry. You bet. Malchus told his friends that he would steal into the city and buy bread and bring it back to them. They let him go, and he went out of the cavern, and down the side of the mountain, and along the road that went to the city of Ephesus. When he came before the gate of the city, he nearly fell backwards in astonishment. For behold, over the gate of the city was the cross of the Christian faith. Go figure. He thought that this could be nothing but a trick to bring back the city to the Christians who had fled from it. And in greater fear than ever, he 
he went through the gate and into the city. He had lived in a wide city, a wide street in that city, but now he went down byways and laneways so that he might not be met by those who knew him. He came to a baker shop that was away from the main part of town and he went within. He saluted the baker and the baker returned his salutation in the name of Christ. Malchus was fearful, thinking that the words were said to trap him, but he pretended not to have heard what the baker said. He took the loaves from him and handed him a silver coin in payment. When the baker received this coin, he looked at Malchus sharply. He then went to the back of the shop and spoke to some who were there. Malchus was about to steal out of the shop when the baker came and laid hands on him, saying, Nay, you must not go until you have told us where the treasure is that you found. I found no treasure, Malchus said to him. Where then did you get the ancient coin that you have given me in payment for the loaves? Assuredly, you have found a treasure. And when the baker said this to him, Malchus gave himself up for lost, for he thought that this talk about a treasure was but a pretense to hold him until they examined him on the charge of being a Christian. The men in the baker shop laid hold on Malchus, and they put a rope around his neck, and they dragged him into the marketplace. I don't like where this is going. They said to those who crowded around, here is one who has found a treasure that must be given to the emperor, and we would have a reward for making him reveal where that treasure now is. And Malchus in the marketplace looked all around him. Ooh, there's the timer. He said to those who were around him, tell me, I implore you, what city is this that I have come into? They said, you are playing the madman, pretending that you do not know that this is the great city of Ephesus. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's so much longer. I wanted to finish it, hoping that it was very, very, uh, very short, but it's not. There's so much more here because these kinds of stories tend to be long, huh? Anyhow, thank you so much for joining me for this five minutes of reading. I will be back, maybe tomorrow, we'll see, to read five minutes more and hopefully get to the end and find out what is happening to our seven friends with interesting names and John. So thanks for being here and let me know below what you're reading for your five minutes a day. So, talk to you later. Bye. Mm -mm 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 -mm.